I'm a hepatitis C specialist and I was treating hepatitis C uh, at the University of New Mexico in my clinic. And uh, I recall a patient uh, who, she was a 43 year old woman and um, she came to see me and there was an eight month wait to see me in my clinic and people were driving hundreds of miles to see me, 200 miles each way and would have to make 12 to 18 trips to get treatment because a treatment involved weekly injections with interferon and another medicine that caused anemia called ribavirin. And when she saw me, um, uh, she had, you know, uh, two children, uh, one was a son, 14 years old, she had a daughter who was nine and uh, she wanted treatment for hepatitis C. Uh, she had been diagnosed hepatitis C uh, many years ago and uh, her, hud her husband had passed away in a car accident um, five years earlier so she was a single mother and when I saw her um, she had cancer of the liver already which was the size of a baseball and um, she really wanted to live because you know she had two children and and uh, but there was nothing we can do and she died of a disease which is actually quite curable because um, there were no doctors in her area that had the ability or the knowledge to treat hepatitis C and over the years uh, I've had more than a hundred patients like that uh, who died of hepatitis C related liver cancer uh, when this was totally preventable and um, uh, because of the eight month wait and the long drives poor people couldn't access me and um, uh, I, I thought I had to do something else to bring access to care to everyone in New Mexico who had this disease so more people didn't die of liver failure and liver cancers and that's how I started Project ECHO to bring access to care for hepatitis C treatment to everyone and then I knew if I could do that then I would have a model for complex diseases and rural locations and other countries